We are in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to fix the default gateway setting to 0000 as well as to a second default gateway IP address as you see on the screen. This happens when the TCP IP stack gets corrupt and it's pretty easy to fix. There's just a couple of commands we have to type. Here we can see our Ethernet card. If we go to properties and we go to IPv4, the default gateway just has one gateway, which is 192.168.0.1. Click on advanced. We also only see the one gateway. However, when you type IP config from a command prompt, you see what you saw in the previous graphic, which is the default gateway set to 0000, as well as the IP address that you want to have in there. So what you want to do is open up a command prompt. So you can right click and you have to open up the command prompt as admin. And from here, we're going to type two commands. The first one is netsh int ip reset, just like that. Netsh int ip reset. All right. So that one's good, even though it says resetting, failed, access denied, don't worry about those. All these other ones saying OK is good. Now, if you get a message saying you have to open up the command prompt as admin, then just make sure you go back and choose admin as your command prompt. You can also open up PowerShell as admin as well. It'll work either way. All right, there's one more command we got to type, netsh winsock reset. And we hit Enter. And now we're going to restart the computer. And when we restart, We'll have to re-enter the IP address information if it's a static IP. If it's a dynamic IP, you don't have to do anything else. So let's restart and then take a look. We've restarted, and once we complete logging in, we'll go ahead and go to our command prompt. So right-click, and once again, go to command prompt. Now, if you have a DHCP server, when you type IP config, we should see that it has an IP address. But in our case, we don't. We have a 169 address, which means we don't have DHCP set up. So we'll go ahead and re-enter the IP information that was in there before, and then we should be able to get the results that we want. So we'll go ahead and click on Change Adapter Settings, and then right-click on your Ethernet and go to Properties. And from here, we'll go to IP4 and use the address 192.168.0.75. And the gateway, 192.168.0.1. The DNS is actually correct, so we'll go ahead and leave that. Click OK. Click OK. Now, one of the weird things about this is sometimes the default gateway just disappears after re-entering it. So let's go back in and just make sure that IP version 4 gateway is still there. And it is, so we're good. So just double-check that just in case. Now let's go back to our command prompt and type IP config. Hit enter, and look at that. We no longer have the 000 gateway that we saw before when uh, there was a problem with the TCP IP stack being corrupt. So now we should be able to get out to the internet, get out to the rest of the computers in the network, and other access to other servers. Now, don't duplicate the IP address that I have here. This is just because my network is on this particular subnet. Your subnet may be different, and you can check another computer in your network just to see if you're on 192.168.0 or 10.00, something like that. So that's how you fix the default gateway showing up twice, one of them with all zeros in Windows 10, as well as Windows Server 2016, 2012, and many other versions of Windows.